back on the podium. Yes. It's been a journey. Now talk to me about the moment that, you know, you finally saw that like, I, I got back on the podium here. Got a bronze medal here at the yeah. World Championships. Talk to me about that moment for you. So definitely, I had a lot of stuff today. There was a lot of stuff in there, but unfortunately, like the first one, caged in. It just ripped out. There was, I mean, I know what a 75 to 77 meter throw feels like, and those were feeling 77 meters. But unfortunately, could not get it through, and that's okay. And that's, this, that's what a competition is, is that you have to be able to sometimes dig through the dirt and get through it. And uh, luckily, you know, I was like, all right, I had two fouls on me, all right, I have to tone it down, be long. I was able to execute, I made it into the finals, and then I was like, all right, now we gotta build again. So luckily, you know, it was it was a rough, 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 rough day, but you know, we made it through, and we're walking away with a medal, two medals, and for the United States, that is amazing. And I could not be more proud of my girl. And what's like the last thing going into the final, like as you're walking onto the field, before you get into the ring for the first attempt, like what's the last thing you're telling yourself? So to me, whenever I was going in there, the first thing is I was looking at my husband and I was just like saying, but I love you. Because it has been a very long, long journey and I am so grateful for him. Because whenever I step in that ring, you know, you just don't to feel all that pressure and that anxiety and I think more of, you know, I, my whole team is in there with me. It's not just me, it's us. And that's why I was able to execute on the third round there. Because I was like, okay, we've been in this situation before. We're doing this as a team. And I remember looking at my husband and I was like, hey, no matter what, right? He was like, ride or die. And so we ride and die together. And you know, I think this means more to my husband and me than the 2019 one. Because we fought so hard together and my family, and my Brian Murr, and my mom and dad, I mean, everybody, and you know, Steve and Cheryl, we all worked so hard to get back to where we were. And you know, even though 75 meters, it is such an amazing feat, and it's been an amazing journey, and I'm so grateful, and I'm really looking forward to Paris. What's the big, been the biggest challenge to get back on that podium again? Oh, it was very hard. <laughs> it was definitely like having to kind of grind yourself back was definitely a struggle with us because like so much energy goes into those first two rounds and that kind of sets the tone and I'm like I just could not get out of that cage and I was like okay this is this is what I was dealt with today and that's okay so I got in the ring I was like just relax do what you do be Deanna Price and know that your family and everyone is there for you and be a light and I just remember sitting there and thinking and feeling this energy and just just love and I, I think that was God and I'm telling you it's okay but you <laughs> you've been through so much it's okay so I got in there and I just let it go and I was able to I was like okay woo. <laughs> I was like maybe through the finals and then finally my husband's like, just be long, do what we've been doing, and I did it, and you know, I, I walk in a wave with the medal today, and a very, very full heart. And then just lastly, what do you have to say to all the people who have been watching, who have been supporting since 2019, you know, through the ups and downs, like, what, do you, what words do you have for your supporters? Thank you. <laughs> Like I said, every time I step in that ring, every moment I wake up, I ask myself three questions. Who do I do it for? What's the purpose of life? And I wanted so badly to bring home a medal for my country again because they believe in me so much. And I'm so honored to wake up every morning in the United States and be able to, you know, you know Nike, New York Athletic Club, South Dakota Beef, and the USATF Foundation. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Everyone is so proud of you. So proud of you.